Early language sounds leave traces in the brain long after babies stop speaking it. Well, researchers, they found that the first year of life sets the tone for speech, which creates a lasting influence on early language experiences that impact how the brain later organizes language. Well, the brain's ability to adapt to new language, that's also included in this. And Laura Pierce, she's a doctoral student. She says that language development, this is what she has to say, during the first year of life, as a first step in language development, infants' brains are highly tuned to collect and store information about the sounds that are relevant and important to the language they hear around them. So what she's essentially saying is a couple of things. If a, if a baby is around Chinese, for example, Mandarin, the first year of life, that brain will never forget that language. And, you know, she also did a study where monolingual, so French babies that were only exposed um, to one monolingual, you know, one language, their frontal lobe, parts of their brain didn't develop as much as babies that had two or more. So Correct. really interesting. Uh, for me, it, this, is, this is something that I, it's really, really interesting. For some of you that might have noticed, I'm not a native speaker. I learned Spanish first, and I can attest to the fact that for many people that I know that have learned more than one language, especially later on in life, it's easier for them to understand the, the, the the functioning of the language and to classify new sounds. And I think I do agree that the babies are so, so, so good at imitating these sounds and storing these sounds. And it's incredible to know that they keep them forever because even like in this study they said, if they took this kid that was born in China and exposed to Chinese in their first life of, year, of their first uh, year of life, and then move into a different household with a different language, later on life, they will very, very easily come back and relearn that language and any other language down the road. So I, I think it's critical. Maybe many will start trying to teach their kids another language earlier in life. Or if there are, you know, a one bilingual, you know, bilingual parents are, are key to this study. So um, the infant brain, just going back to how this works, it's highly tuned to collect and store information. It's very, um, the word plasticity was used mm -hmm. in this article. So um, they're saying that because of that, uh, these cells are developing at such a rapid pace and they have this ability to store this. That's why this is so so critical. So after three years old, the brain is set, not able to, to learn and process language like an infant would up to one year old. And really fascinating stuff. It says that your brain actually never forgets. Not only that, but you're more adept to learn new language if you've had exposure in that first year.